Depending on where you are in the world, working as a digital nomad can be a dream come true or it can be one vexing challenge after another. In this video we are going to provide you all the tips so you know which countries to cross out of your list. At Kramerman we offer holistic legal strategies to successful entrepreneurs and investors that want to reduce their tax bill, grow wealth overseas and become global citizens. From shaky technology to physical hardships, a range of factors can determine whether a place is great for remote work or among the worst countries for digital nomads. Here we will inform you about the four worst countries in the world to become a digital nomad. If you like our content, subscribe to our channel to be aware of more videos like this one. Click the button right here and be part of our community. It will be a big help for us and a small effort for you. Gabon, Africa. It's possible to be a digital nomad working in Gabon, but it's not too easy. Since this is one of the least developed countries in the world, with a low GDP, a high poverty rate and very little infrastructure, this Central African country has made the least due to the country's slow internet speeds and disruptive connections, so it's the best to avoid it as a digital nomad. Yemen, Middle East. In general, you are allowed it to be a digital nomad in Yemen, but there are a few things to keep in mind. This Middle East Eastern country is a safe place for you to travel and live, but it's also a country with many problems. First of all, it has serious political problems due to their unstable government. On the economic side, it's one of the poorest countries in the Middle East. In addition to this, it has social problems due to the large differences between the social classes. So, as you can see, the country presents huge economical, political and social issues that aren't going to make your life as a digital nomad any easier. Technology development. The main problem they face is their lack of technological resources. They are ranked as the country with the worst internet speed in the world. In addition to this, the technology used by the country is archaic. They were not developed for data transfer. Nowadays, the country doesn't have the means to upgrade, so the internet is quite overpriced in the country, forcing you to pay a high price for digital connectivity. If you are interested in getting information about other digital nomad programs, we also recommend you to watch this video. Egypt, Africa. The ship still poses several barriers to digital nomads. First of all, there is the language barrier, as all labor and social documentation in the country is in Arabic, making it difficult to get a job if you don't know this language. It's also a very complicated country for women, being one of the most patriarchal cultures in the world, to the point that just for being a woman, you will be ignored even in simple tasks such as ordering food. Technology development. They are also lagging behind in renewing the digital world. Egypt has one of the lowest internet speeds, but to be fair, there are many other countries in Asia that have such slow speeds, such as India and Bangladesh, but these countries are working harder to improve their broadband connectivity. Meanwhile, Egypt is falling behind due to the current bad situation in the country. As a digital nomad, this is a crucial factor to consider because the lack of technology development is going to retain your work. Venezuela, South America. The last country to cross of your list is Venezuela. This is a country located in South America known for its major social and economic problems. From the economic side, you will suffer from a high level of inflation to multiple national scams. At the same time, its currency is very weak, so when you earn in your salary, you will be losing money. It's also a country where you will suffer a lot of insecurity since it has a high level of crime making it a place that is not safe to live. Technology development. Venezuela is the second country in the world with the lowest speed rate. The reason it's in this ranking is that they have not shown any signs of improvement in their technological development for many consecutive years. 
In fact, the Venezuelan government maintains artificially low internet speeds to reduce expenses and government costs. If you would like to talk through your options and gain a better understanding with regards to obtaining digital nomad options in a different country, get in touch with us today. In the description right below, you will find a link where you can book a call with us. Just schedule the day and time or leave your comment. We are excited to know about you and we can help you to achieve your freedom. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.